Dropping gems, dropping keys, trying to tell you what you need. I always slay every day and I don't play. Don't try me, I low, babe. I know that you notice me. As soon as I step out, I kill them, they pass in our cask. Give them a whole up here. I'm about to take off, you would think I was working for Nessa. What's up, it's your girl Ashley Tiani, and today we're going to discuss why your brand might not be making as much money as you hoped it would when you launched. So, let's get right into it. So, last year, no, two years ago, I made a t-shirt company during the summer because it was college, it was the college summer break, that doesn't even sound right, but everybody went home for the summer, I went home for the summer, I was bored, I had nothing to do, and I was just playing on my phone, I made a little design, I was like, oh, let's put this design on the shirt, I'm like, oh, that's cute, let's put it in the store, oh, let's make some money off of it, you know, and I put it up, I did all of this work, I went on Instagram, promoted, gave out free shirts to social media influencers, promoted, 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 and I didn't get that many sales, I was a little disappointed at that, and so I was just trying to figure out what I needed to implement so that I can make more money because I did not spend all this time energy money to not make any money like the whole point was to make money right so I went back to the drawing board and I did some research and what I realized was that I did not have a purpose I did not have a story and I did not really know who my target audience was that is something that is essential to getting followers getting customers who will want to, one, be interested in who you are, what your product is, and buy from you, and then come back to buy from you again, right? So yeah, I didn't really have any of that. I even reached out to bloggers who were interviewing me. People at my school started wanting, wanted to know how I started up and everything, and they would say, what in inspired you, what influenced you to make your t-shirt brand? And I was, at first, at first, I was just like, oh, well, you know, I was just bored and I just wanted to make some money, so, so yeah, that's that's what it is. That's not interesting. That's not relatable. I had to come up with something that was relatable, but that wasn't entirely a lie. Because at first I just started saying, oh, this is a passion project that I started and that was a lie. So I'm like, I'm not a liar. I just wanted something to be real. So what I thought about was things that I was actually passionate about things that I didn't like that I wanted to fix and something that I didn't like that I really wanted to fix was I just hate it when people say I'm a broke college student it just irks my soul because I feel like when you put things out into the universe when you continue to say something that manifests in your life and that just becomes your reality so when people come up to me and say I'm a broke college student maybe you're a broke college student because you keep saying you're a broke college student so let's change that and then you know with my t-shirt uh, company with the logo and just everything that I kind of had for the brand it was a lot of leaves it was you know tigers and roses and flowers and you know just made you think of a jungle and when you think of jungle you think of animals and animals are usually free wild they live their life they do what they want to survive right so you know I was just like live young wild and free because for my target audience I wanted it to be college students people around my age around 18 to 25 and so I'm like live young wild and free that just it's just that sounds very nice and I went back to that and then also I thought about the broke college student thing I just did not like it and I thought about you know why I did make uh, my t-shirt company yes I was bored but I also wanted money so I was like okay financial freedom oh we, we got something going here financial freedom let's say that we're promoting this we're promoting this for students to do what they love to make the money they want oh Ooh, ooh, that sounds nice. Do what you love to make the money you want. Financial freedom, live young, wild, and free. It all comes together. That's kind of how I started to build a brand story, to build my brand's purpose. That is something that I can use with all of my products, that I can put on my packaging, that I can use. If someone were to ask me, why should I buy from you? I can say, you should buy from me because we are promoting a financial <laughs> you should buy from me because we want you to live young, wild, and free. We are promoting financial freedom to do what you love to make the money that you want. If you want to do what you love to make the money that you want, you should wear this shirt with pride. You should buy this shirt right now and get your friends to buy that shirt because 
you are doing what it takes to make the money that you want, doing what you love, and you are going to live financial. You're going to have financial freedom. It's an underlying meaning behind it. It's more than just a shirt. Now I, I'm not just saying, oh, this is a shirt with a logo on it. Now it's a little, it's a more meaning to it. And you know, that can go with any product. Figuring out your brand's purpose, your brand story is essential because you want, you want your brand to be able to relate to others because when you can relate to others, people will be interested in knowing more about you, wanting to see what it is that you have and how it relates to them. And if it does relate to them and it can help them out in some way, encourage them in some way, benefit them in some way, they'll be more inclined to buy from you. And if that, if that product is quality, if that service is quality, and you do a great job, guess what? They'll be more inclined to come back a second time, then a third and fourth, fifth, and they'll just keep coming back because you were able to relate to them. And not only that, but you were able to deliver on your product and your service. Are you doing that? I need you to go and write yourself a little brand story. Once upon a time, my brand, okay? You need to be able to relate to your customer in some way. And before you even do that, you need to know who your customer is. I can't go to the old people's home and say, oh, live young, wild, and free. And I mean, who's who's to say that they can't? Who don't? <laughs> I mean, forever 21, you know, they can have that young spirit living inside of them. But it's not as likely, you know, they didn't live the majority of their life. You have that few out there, but it's just not as likely. So just make sure that you know who you're targeting, who your customers are, who you want them to be. Because once you know who they are, then you can figure out what they like, what they dislike, where they like to go, what they enjoy doing, things like that. Because then you can be strategic. Ha <laughs> ha! You can work smarter, not harder. And then wrap your brand around what they like, what their strengths are, what they, what they relate to, what they enjoy. So once you do that, it'll be so much easier, so much easier for you, I'm telling you, so much easier because now when you put your brand back out there and they see it, they can be like, oh, I like that. Oh, that relates to me. This is something that I enjoy. Hmm, let's look a, let's look a little bit more into that. Now that you've done that, you got a potential customer. So now when they're on your website, they're on your social media page looking at your product and it's quality, they're like, oh, this is nice. This is, I can use that. I want this. Let's buy it. They buy it. You give them great service, customer service. You give them a tracking number. You ship their stuff out in a good amount of time. They get it. Wow. This is great. I love it. Let's get it again. Hello. Now you got some money in your bank account. Money. <laughs> now you got it. You got it instead of struggling, hoping, wishing, praying that you can have it. Because you did the right thing the first time. You were strategic about it. Dropping gems, dropping keys, trying to tell you what you need. Let's rewind it a little bit and just remember the key points. You need a brand purpose. You need a brand story. And you need to know who your target audience is. Once you have those three things, you can just be strategic and create a strategic plan on how you're going to mold your product and service around that to cater to those people. Because once you start a business, yes, for you, it is about the money, but you don't let anyone know that. If anything, you know, just don't say that. It's not about the money for you. Even if it is, it's not about the money for you. It is, but it's not about the money for you. It's not about the money. You don't tell the world it's about the money because obviously, if it wasn't about money, we'd be giving everything away for free. It's not about the money. It's about servicing the customer. The customer, who knows best? It's about the customer. On the outside, on the outside, when you're pushing your product, when you're pushing your service, it's about the customer. Once they buy from you, then it's about the money. And even still, it's about the money, but it's about the customer. You want to make money, but you can't make money being self-absorbed. You can't make money without focusing on the person who's going to buy it from you, the customer. <laughs> so work smarter, not harder. Get your brand's purpose, your brand story. Know your target audience and be strategic. And I guarantee you, with patience, hard work, and quality service, you will get you some money because that's what we want to do, all right? All right. <laughs> all right. Like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.